Hi guys, it's Lowen Freak and welcome to the Spruce Farm tutorial. This is the one I promised a long time ago and I finally got around to doing it for you. Um, there's a lot to cover off so I'll try and keep this as fast and but as concise as possible. Bear with me because we may move a little bit quick um, but feel free to pause and uh, take screenshots along the way because it might be helpful to do something like that. There's things that I won't cover off today, so I'll just quickly get to them. That's pretty much the um, piston pusher that goes on the side that takes the logs off in another direction. And I won't also cover off the um, TNT chamber as well, which um, helps you collect all the uh, logs once they're sort of pushed into that area. With that being said, I think the, the core farm is pretty much what you're after, no doubt. And from there, you can um, build on other things. Um, but also, I will do some follow-up videos around collection systems. I've got a few ideas. I've been playing with some as well. So I'm happy to share those with you if required. But um, enough of that. Let's get on with the build. Okay, so items you'll need. So it, it is a little bit heavy on the resources, but um, I think they're all achievable in any case. The the main thing is, is probably this is an, a uh, mid to late game sort of build, I'd say. Um, you'd probably have a good slime farm, an iron farm handy. You've got access to redstone and um, you've probably been to the nether to make, uh, to get quartz and you know, be able to make observers and, and whatnot. So. Um, the items are, so about two and a quarter stacks of sticky pistons, um, about 51 normal pistons, you'll need uh, 32 hoppers, about 20 repeaters, half a stack of redstone torches, about two stacks of redstone dust, it's probably a bit less, like the glass, there's about a stack and a half here, you may need a bit less to be honest, um, about three stacks of blocks should do it. Um, and a piece or a single block of dirt that's what we'll be growing the trees on and 30 observers a stone button sorry a wooden button um, that's important and a chest or two just for the basic collection system um, also you'll need some bone meal and some spruce saplings once the farm's built and these colored blocks down here are purely just to help the tutorial along they're completely optional you can build this just with the single stone pellet doesn't matter you can build this out of wood if that's your thing or wool uh, for that matter so I'll pause here and you can take a snapshot okay so with your item list handy let's get on to the build okay so the dimensions should be up on the screen at the moment the way I've built this is above ground um, you can build this indoors wherever you want to it should be fine um, but for the sake of this tutorial I've kept it above ground and yeah so it's an 11 by 11 platform and the center area or the core area will be 5 by 5 and it is about six blocks off the ground um, you could probably do with about four but six I'd recommend six in any case I'm building this in creative so it's a lot easier for me to get around uh, you'll probably need some scaffolding and stuff as well um, and temporary blocks so uh, may pay to have a few stacks of that stuff uh, handy as well okay so once you've got your area marked out like i have here again that's the 11 by 11 um, once you've got a, an area for the core which is the five by five we'll start with the build Determining which is the front, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, this is the front for me. Um, what you'll need to do is find the middle of the 11 by 11 area, which is that, and then come in three blocks and on the fourth block, place your chest and that should start it all off. So let me get my stuff and we'll do it together. Okay, so let's start with the chest. Put your chest there. And get on top of it and again this is a crude collection system how you do it in your world it's entirely up to you but um, this is just how I've done it just for the build in this case because we will be putting redstone around this and it kind of works in this fashion in any case so pretty simple so just come up by a few blocks 
and start putting your, your hoppers down. I'll do this like I would in survival. Crouch, place and jump. Okay, so once you're at, at the floor level, um, now it's time to connect all these hoppers into this one here at the front. So the, the idea being when the tree gets um, retracted from, from this area and all the leaves get crushed, all the drops will land in these hoppers and funnel them to a central collection area. That's nothing more complex than that. So how you do this is entirely up to you. I will um, do it this way, but again, there's no right or wrong. Um, as long as they all point into this central area. So I'll fast forward this. Okay, you'll notice I'll leave, I've left one area in the center and that's for your um, dirt block because that's where the tree will ultimately be growing. So get your dirt block and just place it in there. Just like that. Okay, so that's the way I've done it. Um, again, there's probably many different combinations you can do. It's probably not the most efficient, but that works. It will work, that, that'll be fine. Okay, so once you've done that, we'll get on with the retraction system. Okay, let's get on with the build. Um, this build is pretty simple in the sense that once you get the first couple of layers down, it's pretty much rinse and repeat all the way up. That goes for the retraction system and the um, leaf crusher system that will go around the edges as well. So we'll start with the front side, which is the first um, retraction piston and side, side pushing pistons. So get your sticky pistons out and your normal pistons and observers and we'll get cracking. So from the front, where that first hopper is, just go out two and start laying down some sticky pistons like so. Right, so this is the center and this will go up nine blocks to get those big spruce trees that infrequently grow, but sometimes they do get to nine blocks and you wanna be able to collect them. So anyway, so once you've got those sticky pistons down, it's time to get your observer and it goes in facing up like that. Right, so then we'll come around to the side. And again, you can do this in any order. I recommend just watching the video a couple of times and just see what works for you. Okay, so from the side, put the side pushing piston. So this piston here, again, that'll go up nine. That pushes all the trees out of the farm, out of this, I guess, platform area, in any case. Then we put one piston there, a sticky piston there, like so. And this one here is responsible for actually dragging the wood out of the farm. And this one pushes it out into a collection system. Okay, then the next row or the next um, section for pistons is like this. So a sticky piston there, one there. And like so. And your observer again facing up. Okay, so this one here, or the, this bank of pistons, Again, we'll go nine up. This one fires after this one. So this piston here drags it to this spot. Then this series of pistons will fire and drag the log to this spot. Then this one will fire and drag the log here. And next time you fire the farm, this piston will push the log out this way. So it just rinse and repeat. So the first time there'll be nothing to push. So this one here won't actually do much but from every time they're on, it'll start pushing logs out this way. I think it goes out about, the push limit's about 12 blocks. Uh, but again, you know, I haven't, I won't um, cover off the piston pusher, but you'd put it out here somewhere. Okay, so once you've got this design, it's time to just sort of repeat it, as I mentioned. So, so once you've got it here, um, we'll go up by one and that'll just show a complete cycle or I guess, um, pattern of what to repeat moving forward. Okay, so with your sticky pistons again, put them on top. Like that. And this is where you use your um, block of choice. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna keep it color coded. So that's the yellow circuit. Sticky piston, 
then and I'll use blue for it, the second circuit in any case. Okay, so there you have it guys. That's the pattern that we'll, we'll need to repeat um, to nine blocks high. Now there is one change at the top. So that last observer that we'll place will actually face a different direction, but we'll get to that once the, the build's complete. Okay, so while we're doing this, it, I'll just show you a little bit of the redstone at the back. I won't show the circuit right now, we'll cover that separately, but this is how you power the units. And again, it's one of those things that once it's in, then you just repeat it all the way up. So we may as well cover that off now. So come around the back of the front, if that makes sense, the front pistons. Block there, block there like so. And onto the ones on the left side, two blocks like that. So it should look something like this. And then for these pistons here, I'll, I'll use a different color, which is I'll use orange. Just put a block on the side for now. Like so. And then we can just tower it up like this. Because this essentially will be a torch tower going all the way up to power these pistons here. So I think that's a just a good little snapshot of how it all gets wired up. So you can see over here, I've laid it out. So let's do that. Okay, so get your redstone out. Like so. I'll get my repeater. And the repeater has no delay no delay on it, so it's it's got its default one tick as it goes into that. You just put the block on top like so. it like that okay now how we get the si how we'll get the signal up to nine blocks is simple we just use the glass method I don't know what it's actually called but we just build a tower with this glass that's quite simple it'll look something like that and same with on the blue side We'll do the same. Let's put the redstone down in another row. And then you can see with the redstone dust, you can just start bringing it all the way up like that. done okay for the torches it's worth noting now essentially what we'll do as as we get all the pistons going up and we can actually just do that now just for the sake of it what we want to achieve is having the pistons off by default so in these voids here we need piston uh, we need redstone torches that are off so they're not powering that um, that row of pistons. So let's get our redstone torch. This will make a lot a lot more sense once we do the circuitry underneath. But for the sake of it now, we'll fire quickly. Let's just continue the torch tower a little bit. it's on at the moment but when once I put that torch it powers it off so that's exactly how we want this torch tower to work so there's six there we need to go up another three just to complete it so 
So let's just do that and get be done with it. Done. So that's that row, that column of pistons done in any case. So what we want to do again is just get this thing up to nine blocks high in the same pattern. Uh, remembering that at the top, I will show you how to place the observer in a different direction to make sure this thing works. Okay, let's get started building this thing nine blocks high. I will fast forward most of this, but I will stop if I have any information along the way. So here goes. Okay, so now we've just completed the eighth. Now I'll just show you the way that we need the observer to be facing for this last one. Okay, so once you're at the top, just place your observer facing piston there so you can see the arrow pointing to that piston so that's the actual redstone output area okay so that's nine done so that's your first row of sticky pistons which is the first circuit to run now we just complete that first circuit with these pistons here like so and then we'll come around the back and do all the redstone. Okay, you'll notice too that the pattern changes up here and I'll explain that a little bit later. So get the redstone, dust, Let's continue the glass to get the signal all the way up. Okay, and that's the, the yellow or the first array of pistons done. And we've done the, the last there in any case. Again, the order in which you do it doesn't really matter at this stage, but I've just done it this way. Okay, then let's get on to the second circuit, which is this one here, the blue one. Do the same, let's go eight all the way up. Let me get my blocks. Again, I'll fast forward some of this stuff so I won't bore you with all the details, but if there is something, I will mention it. But here goes. Okay, now with this one here, we'll just face the observer into this piston, just like so. Done, now let's get around to the redstone at the back. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so once we've got that up and running, well, up anyway, let's get the um, leaf crusher system put in as well. So let's get your blocks of choice uh, and keep your pistons handy and your observers handy as well. Okay, so essentially what we want to do first is just build a too high wall around the perimeter uh, so we can set our pistons in. Now leave a gap here because that's where our button will go. Once you've done that, then just put a row of blocks just on the upper side like that. That's just so you can put your sticky pistons down a lot easier. 
we'll get rid of those a bit later as well. So it should look something like this. And you can go in and fill in this all the way up if you like. Okay, let, let, let's get your pistons out and we'll start with the um, leaf crusher walls. So leaving a gap, so we're facing backward, facing the back now, as you can see. Put a row of four pistons like so. And the way I remember this is just put your normal piston there, skip and put another piston there. So once you've got that in place, we need to repeat this seven times because we've got the two there and we'll alternate the pistons, um, the observers as well. So let's just get cracking on that. Okay, with the observers again, there's an alternating pattern and at the top we change directions as well. So just stay with me. Okay, it should look something like that. Now for the last observers. Okay, so get your observers and put them in facing this way. So the redstone facing that piston and the output facing that piston. And that's the rear crusher done. Now let's get on to the right hand side. So because we've got a piston row here or column here, um, this this block right there, we're not going to put anything there, so we may as well just fill that up just to make it easy and not to confuse you. And again, just repeat this pattern on this side here. So, okay, let's get started. And we face the observers oops, this way. You might need a temporary block for this. And there you go. That's that done. Now for the final side, um, now this, this, this circuit here, we know fires second and it's okay for the piston pushers to fire along with it instead of creating a separate circuit. We'll time everything else pretty much around this one here. Oh, well, initially this one, but um, ultimately this one as well. So these ones here will work independently of everything else. So let's get on with it. Now you notice there's three blocks there, so we're not going to do four, but that's easy enough anyway, so let's do this. And starting from the right hand side there, just a row of normal pistons. Now let's close this gap up here as well. Let's do the observers. Now for this last observer, it's actually very important that it faces the opposite way. Like that. So you'll see the two arrows go in different directions. Okay, let's just finish. Okay, so that's pretty much the farm done in terms of the, all the pistons. I don't think you'll need any more pistons, so you can probably pull them out of your hotbar. Same with your observers. What we'll do next is get all the um, redstone powering up the side or up the back of the, of the um, piston 
rows and once that's done then we'll get stuck into the actual circuitry below. So let's start with the blue side which is your left side only because that's the easiest at this point. I'll continue the color coding just for the sake of the experiment but uh, essentially this is the blue the second circuit in any case but this I guess portion of the pistons are doing the leaf crushing. Let me know if that helps in, it, in any case. Okay, so now for the, the rear pistons, let's just do pretty much like we did for the others. And let's do the glass. And what we can do now is just put some redstone, but we won't go all the way in. It's just more of a safeguard just doing it this way, but we can go all the way from the top down. Just double checking that. And what we'll do actually is just, just remove some redstone here because we just don't want this to fire as we're building it because it could cause a lot of trouble in, if we get a, um, a misfire while we're setting up all the circuitry. So same on this side, I won't put any redstone there, but I'll connect it. Now part of the reason behind that, because I want the default state of the pistons to be off. Um, and if we inadvertently put a, a powered signal through, it'll just spit the pistons out. Um, and if it's a, if it's a timing thing, or if it's, if they've um, gone off at a similar time, then, um, it could actually cause a bit of damage to the farm. Trust me, I've had to rebuild this a few times um, in my time. Okay, now, now that we've got all the redstone bits in and all the pistons in and connected and whatnot, I think the last thing for us to do is actually to build the circuitry underneath. Let's go have a quick look at a finished, at a completed one and hopefully that makes sense. What I'll do too is just show you a little um, I guess a wall I've done with some details on the actual firing sequence and the delay that we need for each of the circuits just and maybe that'll make sense to you as well. Putting this one here, what I've done, I've color coded the circuits to match the the piston arrays if you will um, above and that should sort of help you explain the sequence, explain to you the sequence in how the redstone goes. So just a quick one, the button is on is above here and what that does the minute we press the button it shoot it powers this redstone and it goes off in two directions so firstly it goes down the yellow path so that we want that to fire the front piston and the side pushes um, first so what happens is it goes down here gets one ticker delay there another ticker delay here then if we go to the top goes up some some torches comes out onto this block and one more ticker delay and then it fires into this the back of the array here causing all that to go off first which is ideal so once as that's running this torch because it switches to powered it powers the blue circuit which is the second um, row of pistons or bank of pistons to fire here it comes into five um, five repeaters all set at full delay, so that's 20 redstone ticks. All right, then through a little torch tower it goes up, and powers that block, and then it goes all the way up. So then that fires. Once that fires, then this torch here changes its state, essentially depowering all of this. Um, so we've got two repeaters here on full delay. Once that torch over there depowers, this one here comes on and powers these two repeaters at full delay again into a mini torch tower here that comes out at the top and alternates 
all the ones that are currently off into on, which means these pistons get pushed out. And then when the, as the button depowers, cycles through its power, then everything reverses from that point on. So that's those pushes or the retraction system. At the same time, when we press the button, what happens to is the, the leaf pushes start their sequence as well. So we know the, the leaf pushes are connected to the blue circuit, so they'll fire in that original sequence. But what happens here is while the front one's firing, what I set out to do is fire the rear one so they don't trip over themselves. That's pretty straightforward. I've put three delay, or three ticks of delay here with the um, three repeaters set to their default. That climbs the torch tower here and fires them. So pretty much at the same time the front's going, the back's going as well. Once that fires, then what happens here is this torch goes off and it powers, depowers all of these um, repeaters. So we've got five there, so on full delay, so that's 20 redstone ticks of delay. And this torch that's currently off will turn on, that one turns off, and that one there will turn on, powering this bank of pistons. All right, so that's pretty much the sequence in which things fire. So there's a bit of simultaneous firing and then some delay as well. So let me just show you the wall so it makes a bit of sense and then we'll get stuck into building the circuit. So over here, I've just tried to sort of timeline the, the way the um, redstone fires. So you've got, you, pr you press the button, three after three redstone ticks, the front wall will fire in parallel the rear will fire after three ticks, as, as I showed you earlier. Then the only difference is the blue circuit picks up its signal before that last uh, repeater on top for the yellow circuit. So there's only two ticks there. Um, so it's two yellow ticks. And then we did um, 20, or sorry, five repeaters at full delay. So 20 ticks there. So in total, the, the blue circuit fires 22 redstone ticks after the button's pressed. Shortly, very shortly after the right hand side, so after the green rear fires, um, then it picks up its signal. So the three redstone, oh, yeah, sorry, the three redstone ticks plus 20 ticks of delay. So that's the other five redstone repeater set at full delay, the green one fires. So essentially, if you look at the farm, you've got the left side here and the right side firing. So very close to each other in terms of timing, but on opposite, opposite ends of the farm. So nothing will push itself out of the way or trip over itself. Then lastly, we've got the orange circuit, which so after the redstone, uh, sorry, after the blue circuit fires, which is 22 ticks of delay after the button's pushed. We add another 16 ticks of delay, totaling 38 once the button's pushed, and that does the final retraction of the logs out of the farm. So nothing really trips up over that as long as it's 38 redstone ticks after. So hopefully that explains it for you. It's 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 really hard to sort of um, get any more detail. I'm, if, um, I'm happy to explain it in comments if required, but hopefully that sort of um, sets the scene on the actual circuit timing for this farm. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to building the, the circuit so we can call this thing done. Okay, so onto the circuit. So first things first, let's put the button in so we have a good idea of where things are at. Where's my button? And I'll just indicate it with this white block. Now, we can get rid of these. I'll put the white block there. And the button on top, like that. So when we go underneath, I can see it clearly where it's at. Again, that's just for tutorial purposes. You can use any stone that you like, um, but once you put your first bit of redstone down, everything else falls into place from there. So, okay, let's get started with the yellow circuit, which is the first one. So, let me get my yellow block. 
I need the button and I'll get the orange one as well. So that's just torches, redstone dust and your repeaters. That's all you'll need. Okay, so coming down two blocks and then knocking that one out, that's where it all starts. Simple as that. So from this from this block here, the green one will, will, will fire as well, but we'll get to the green one in a second. So let's get started. Okay, so what we want to do is step it down one, knock it out, and three blocks like so. So one, two, three, and then we want to want to go from here five blocks out. So six in total, including that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should look something like that. Now what we want to do is bring this up to the top so we can connect it to this circuit there for the yellow okay so we need to step this up so just put a temporary one there another temporary one there like so now if we come up to the top of the farm what we want to do is just knock that out there and we should see that on the top now which is exactly where we want it. Now get your repeater, put it there with no ticks, no delay, and a bit of, right, we'll leave the redstone dust off for a second, we'll get the, the rest done now. Okay, so coming from underneath again, let's put some redstone dust and repeaters down. So this one's a, bit, a little bit simple, so just with your redstone dust, a bit of dust there, one repeater, a bit of dust like that all the way down, and then one more repeater into that block there. Again, no delay other than its default one tick. So coming around the back, what we want to do is go up with a torch tower. So one torch there, that one's off. And then if we put our dust here, that's off too. So again, going back to the original statement, we want our um, piston, all our pistons off at this stage or off in general. So that's the yellow circuit done. So that'll fire the first pistons. So we can actually do a quick demo and show you. It shouldn't trip anything up in any case because it's on its own. Done. So that works perfectly. Okay, onto the blue circuit. So as I showed you over here, we want this blue circuit to pick up its power from that off torch. And we're gonna put five repeaters down on full delay, so that's 20 ticks. Now, where the repeaters are is important because we don't want redstone or anything to trip over itself. Um, so just pay attention to the actual placement of these repeaters. So let's get over there and build it. Okay, so with the second circuit, let's just pick that up from here. So a temporary block, one there, and you can knock that one out. So we need eight blocks across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then just one more right here. Okay, so then what we want to do is step this up into the farm or into the row of pistons to connect it to that blue one over there. So we just do that by stepping up like so, and then we can just knock these out like that so we can see what we're doing. And then just put one more in there because we'll be running some torches in a, in a matter of seconds so actually what might be a good thing too is let's just knock this redstone out again just to protect us from anything firing that we don't want to while we're laying some redstone so this bit's important so just stick with me so we want to put three bits of redstone and four repeaters on this side and then just one further down there so one two three Put your repeaters down on full delay. So that's one, two, on full delay, three, 
3 on full, de full delay four on full delay and then one more here into that block on full delay like so and your bit of redstone dust connecting it so what's, once that's in let's put our redstone torches in to, to connect it all so you put one in there and one there and that should be off now you see that that's fired something so I'm expecting maybe a piston to be sticking out or an observer in this case, that's okay, we can retrieve that easily enough. Okay, so now we can just put our redstone back because the circuit's off and we're not too concerned at this point. Now for the orange circuit. Okay, before we start the orange circuit, let's just get this one back in any case. I just wanna show you quickly how it works. So I'm pretty confident nothing will trip over itself because we've got the right sort of delays in there. And just by pulsing it, it should pick up that repeater in any case. Ah, oh, sorry, that observer in any case. So just click. Done. Everything's clean, nice and neat. Okay, so now for the orange circuit. Temporary block. Oops. Knock that out. Out by three. Then we want to step down and put two. Knock that one out should have something like that. So once you do that, what we want to do at this point is step up by one block, leaving that one there for now, and then three more this way, coming closer to the blue side. Now you can knock that one out. And then what we want to do is bring this signal up to the orange circuit, which is up there. So we can just knock these out so we can have it bit of a view of where we're going so just by doing this knock that out and that's perfect okay so let's get our redstone repeaters and dust out and let's do make the circuit okay so with your repeater again all of these will be on four full delay, so repeater, full delay, redstone, redstone, and another repeater, full delay. Now we get our torch. Now this should invert the signal, so the torch goes off because all that's powered. Then we put our two repeaters down on full delay. And there's our 16 bits 16 redstone ticks of delay there so that's done now we come under here now this is where it gets a bit fidgety survival actually might be a little bit easier so torch there and what we want to do let's do it properly from the outside might be easier and we put a torch there it so that's now off and it hasn't really it hasn't touched the actual sequence or the, the torches on this side because we want them off remember okay so that's pretty much the circuitry done um, what I like to do is just close it up with a bit of glass so at least you know what's down there in case you have to damage anything um, Oh, sorry, not damage anything, if you need to modify anything in any case. All right, so now it's time for the green circuit, which is for the main leaf pushes for the rear and the right-hand side. Um, and once that's done, this farm is ready to go. So let's get cracking. So as I mentioned before, we want this thing to fire straight away. At the same time, the button's pressed, the yellow and the green should start there their um, powering sequence. So how we do that, let's bring a block down here and knock that out. So that's where the green one starts. So what we want to do is go out by five blocks. So including that one, so that's one, two, three, four, five in total. Then we want to swing it back, come this way. 
and put one there like that now we want to start stepping it up because we want to give the rear its power very shortly and then once the rear fires then we want to fire the right hand side some 20 20 ticks later okay let's start stepping it up two and then we want to step it up one more time it's going to achieve that just there okay so that's that's to get the green circuit going so now let's put down our redstone repeaters and redstone dust and then we'll continue on to the right hand side circuit okay let's start on the redstone again pay attention to where i put the repeaters because they're there for a reason so the redstone doesn't trip over itself in any case so Redstone dust, redstone dust. Get your repeater. No delays on this one because we just want quick three ticks. So dust, dust, dust. Another repeater, no delay. Bring that up. And then some and last repeater. There's your three ticks right there. Okay, now let's let's bring this up. Remembering that we've left the redstone here so we don't deliberately fire anything. So let's just remove a couple of these blocks so we can see what we're doing. Put a block there and then we can start laying our torches. Okay, so with your torches, Let's just put one there, one there, and we want to put a block on top of that, Oops, just one will do, and then bring a torch out here. So it should look something like that. And then for, for your final block and torch, you put one block there, and this torch here should be off but it did fire that piston in any case so we can actually reclaim that or fix that in a second so now that that torch is off it's safe to just finish up this redstone here like so and be done with it now we should be okay to actually fire this piston um, because we've got the right amount of delay i believe and this remembering this one here fires at the same time the front one does so i'm not expecting anything to trip up and we've got the right right amount of delay and all that for the for the side in any case so i'm comfortable to fire this done no harm no nothing that worked a treat so that's a, that's a positive sign in any case. So now let's finish off this circuit and this farm is done. So what we want to do is pick up the redstone from here. We want to somehow add 20 ticks of delay before we bring it up and expose it to this area here. So how we do that is simple. Once you know how to do it. Okay. Let's get cracking. So let's put a temporary block there. Knock that one out. We come over by four. And then we step it up. Here. Could have left that one there. Then we come over here. Add another two. Knocking that one out. And then we want to step it up. Like so. Let's get rid of that one there. Put a block there and that should be fine okay now remembering that we want to put in the um we want to put in 20 ticks of delay so that's five repeaters so we do that easily by adding the repeaters in this sequence oops not that facing that way this way again full delay that's one two three four and five whoops five repeaters on full delay 
Now we want to step that up with some torch tower with the torch tower. So we can knock this out just so we can see. So we put one torch there, which is off. Then we put our next torch on top here. We put a block on this side. And we're going to put a torch here and no doubt a piston will fire ever so quickly. There we go. But again, the power is off and that's exactly what we wanted. So let's put the redstone in to complete it. And you can just cap it off with some glass. Again, so you can just see down there. Now I'm expecting to be, have another piston that's fired out or an observer. But again, we should be okay now to fire it because I'm comfortable that we've put in all the repeaters with the correct delays and none of this stuff should trip over itself. I say should, um, and that thing should retract in any case and be a complete farm. So let's try this. Famous last words. Okay guys, I think that was a successful test in any case. Um, so that's all the circuits done, all the pistons in. We are probably ready to test this. Now, I like to do it just quickly with just some blocks instead of using the tree, just to make sure everything's firing all the way up to the top because there's nothing more annoying than thinking you're done and one of these top ones doesn't fire and um, yeah, a bit of pain in reverse engineering it. So just grab any block that you want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at the top. And make your way down. And let's fire this thing. So I'm expecting that tower of blocks to end up right here. If that works, then we're on a sure thing. So let's try it. done so that worked if we fire it one more time that row of blue blocks will get pushed out ready for the next one perfect okay I'm going to get rid of that row of blue blocks and we'll come back for our first actual test okay so just get your saplings and your bone meal. You can put everything else back because hopefully we don't need it. And let's try our first spruce tree. So placing it there. Bit of bone meal. Okay. Okay, so it's a bit of a small one, but it shouldn't matter. So let's try it. Now I've got my tick speed up pretty quickly so the leaves actually decay a lot quicker but I saw a couple of saplings and sticks fall in there. Now again we're going to we're going to come across um, saplings or sticks um, dropping on this central block here. Probably not much I can do right now until I sort of hook up a water system or something to this but for the time being it's not going to hurt you to pick it up yourself and replant it in any case. Okay, so that's that tree done. Let's do another one. Perfect. Now let's go have a look at the collection chest just to make sure we're getting things in there. And as you can see, we've collected some sticks and some saplings. Now I could sit here and test it for another 24 hours, but uh, for the sake of keeping this video under a day, let's just call it done and dusted. I think that's that's your uh, spruce tree farm done. Um, from here, I guess we, we can do work on the piston pusher on the side 
and then onto a TNT chamber or something for easy collection. But again, just to get it going, this is more than enough, obviously. And I wish you all the best with um, building it. I do appreciate it. There's a lot of scaffolding and going up and down and whatever, but you can do it in survival and uh, provided you, you've got all the, um, all the bits and pieces, which I definitely recommend you have in advance before building it instead of building sections and then going back and getting the bits because that'll just put you off. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. I know it was a long one and a bit painful and I'm sure I could have done a, little, a bit better as well. But uh, hopefully I explained it well enough that um, you can build a successful farm out of it. I'd love to hear from you if you've built it. Let me know um, what, I could, what I could have done better, but more importantly, if it works, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know um, and perhaps we can work through something together. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing this. It was a bit of a pet project for me. Um, I do have to thank Frilioth for inspiring me to actually getting to this point. Um, he sort of teased me in one of his episodes, uh, which I'll link again. I did mention it in my earlier video as well. And um, yeah, we've exchanged props in any case on Twitter. But uh, thanks to him for putting this seed in my head. And um, here we are, we've done it. And I'm really happy with the result. Now, I'll probably try and beautify it a little bit to make it look a bit uh, majestic and whatever. But as long as the guts work, everything else is secondary as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, I'm Low and Freak. Thanks again, guys, and stay tuned for my farming series and an upcoming Let's Play, I think. So have a great weekend. See ya. One last thing. If you did like the video, please leave a like. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, please um, consider subscribing to my channel. Again, thanks for your time. I'm Lion Freak. I'll see you again. Bye.